The invasiveness of a traditional autopsy could soon become a thing of the past. The latest technique called vertopsy and uses a combination of robotics and MRI and X-ray scans. If you perform a CT scan, you can easily um, see bone fractures and um, easily depict bone fractures. You cannot do this as easily in, in, a, in, a, in a dead body. This is, um, if you perform an autopsy, you have to really free every single bone fragment and then you have a puzzle that you have to sort of put together. To complete a vertopsy, a robot photographs the body and places markers on it to help match up surface and internal imaging scans. The result is a 3D image of a body that researchers say is not only extremely accurate, but also allows for analysis at a later date. The problem is if he d does not find something, if he overlooks something, the body is cremated and the evidence is gone. With our method, we scan the body, we have a data set, and then we have a radiologist that looks at it. And even if he misses something, if some questions arise 10, 20 years after that, we still have the data set and can have a new radiologist, maybe with, with new knowledge about how to look at the images to, to find evidence out of those data sets. Ebert says utilizing such complex data allows investigators to learn a lot about how an injury occurred, such as the location of an explosive device. Data from the technique has also been used in court to help determine types of weapons used in assaults. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press. This is much more accurate than an autopsy where maybe an organ is sliced into centimeter pieces or 